Hi, welcome to our channel. We will discuss about the default methods and the static methods. So this is the, the new feature of uh, Java 8. We will uh, see also the different problems that will be solved by this feature and uh, the different advantages. Okay, so let me know that you are with me, please. Uh, so I will uh, declare here an interface. So all you know interfaces, all right? So I will put here a method void m so all you know that this method is by default by default public abstract okay what does that mean it means that i can't make a code for this method inside this interface okay i can't make an implementation in this inside this interface okay this is the rule number one the rule number two is that uh, suppose I declare a class here, okay, that's implement this interface, and uh, now you will see an implementation and we will see a compilation error, okay. Uh, so the rule number two is that I must necessarily implement all the methods exist in this interface, okay. Uh, so we will implement this method. So we will make here, for example, println the okay now the rule number two is that if we have a class that's implements an interface the class must override all method abstract exists in this interface okay good now how can i uh, call this method okay i can call this method by instantiate the interface like that by her implementation okay and make i dot m now i can execute and we find here today okay now all is fine i have a question for you please uh, look this class c uh, can i make her uh, unusable uh, which mean uh, have several has several problem several compilation error without touching us yes i can just by touching uh, the interface that implement the class okay so class c implement interface i i will go in interface i i will add for example uh, one method here abstract and and you see we have a problem here in class c we have a compile uh, a compilation error so this is the rule number two i must uh, necessarily implement all this method that exists inside this interface okay imagine now that we have an application okay a big application with several classes several interfaces and several dependencies between them okay but this application is built by the java 7 and just like that in one full swoop i will i want to migrate from uh, java 7 to java 8 okay and we know uh, very good that java 8 has uh, had uh, several uh, modification inside uh, several interface like that uh, for example interface list interface list exists since uh, java 8 uh, java 1.2 okay and uh, in java 8 uh, this interface has modified uh, his uh, we find stream method that's all you know okay stream method has added in the, the, the interface list in java 8 so when we have or when we will uh, migrate uh, from java 7 to java 8 we will have several problems several problems several compilation error inside our classes and finally the application won't work okay what is the solution the solution is that java should not require us to implement all the method exists inside this interface okay which is impossible we had say that this is the rule number two uh, the class must override all uh, the method exists inside this interface so this is the solution the solution is to make here 
and the implementation by default inside this interface yeah inside this interface i will make an implementation for default in order to not show the not require me to implement all the method inside this class okay so now the compiler will does now will does not uh, know what i say so he will told me that is uh, abstract method i can't have uh, it can't have a party so now i will add here a keyword a magic keyword default so now i told the compiler that is uh, the method by default so all now is work so default by method let me uh, create a class that implement an interface without implement or without overriding the method by default okay this is the advantages now now we have a problem be careful please you know the problem of diamond diamond problem follow me please we will uh, explain this problem so now uh, imagine imagine that we have this is the problem no no this is the problem of diamond imagine that we have class e and class b okay class e have method m and class b have also method m uh, method m is concrete method and also for m of class b we have class c that in here uh, that's uh, inherits class b and class c inherits class e okay and i will make here an object instantiate an object okay like that and like that okay and now uh, i want to call the method m of the, the father class okay like that a question is as the compiler will know uh, which uh, implementation will give me is the com it's the, um, uh, the, the the implementation of the class b or class e will not know yes will not know is logical because we have here a same name and different implementation is and this is the, the 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 problem of diamond and for this case and for this uh, because of that we don't have the 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 multiple inheritance in java okay but in java 8 we have this problem why why because in java 8 we can't we can implement several interfaces okay suppose we have interface i and interface o and we have here method m by default okay and method m here or c uh, also by default okay and we have class c that implements this interface and class c implement this interface and we must uh, call m in class c now the compiler will not know uh, if we if we if uh, he given us uh, the, the the implementation of the class or uh, interface o or uh, interface i okay this problem but the solution here is that compiler will put you in the obligation of implement these methods okay it will require you to implement these interfaces override override these methods inside this class all right uh, now we gotta add another interface with the uh, another name like that o for example uh, the both interfaces have uh, the, the same methods m okay and now in class c we gotta implement uh, the both interfaces okay like that now we gotta have a problem here let look in c we gotta have problem uh, he will tell us to implement this method this new method okay like that so we must necessarily uh, override this method so be careful please now uh, we gotta talk about static method static method is like the default method uh, we will uh, we will make here the static keyword yeah static keyword uh, which means static method uh, we can uh, do an implementation and code inside the interface okay inside the interface so 
how we can uh, call this method inside the main so uh, without instantiating a class and uh, do an object no by uh, just uh, call the name of interface dot the method okay like that and all is will work like that okay this is the method uh, static and this is the method by default so so I hope that uh, is very clear so the next session we will see uh, maybe uh, the, the, the functional interfaces that exist and the different uh, and the class optional it is it's a super class super functionality okay so uh, thanks for watching and goodbye